Greetings and welcome to the Saturday Morning Vodcast Podcast. water it's good to the last drop what do we have here it's not just a package that says be nice to each other but you should be nice to each other i am part of a group not a group no facebook group you know the groups you know all about them don't you well this group in particular is called bad drivers of lynchburg i it's interesting i was interested enough to join the group because it's funny to see people parking bad or, or doing stupid things on the road the problem with the group is that no one can post anything, no one, nothing, not an image, not words, without immediately being attacked by somebody for the opposite opinion. I, I can't be in that group anymore. I, I, yesterday, people were fighting all day. Different posts, too. It was all about the rain. We got some torrential rain yesterday. Um, I don't know what that voice was. Uh, uh, and uh, we got water in the house for the first time in a long time, but it was quick and hard. And because of that, there was, uh, you know, people were driving a little bit slower on the highway, which you're supposed to do. In inclement weather, you're supposed to decrease your speed by about a third. Uh, it's for safety reasons, obviously, and there were a lot of accidents. So people were posting pictures of, like, you know, people driving slow or accidents and just fighting both sides. Like, well, if you can't drive in the fucking rain, you shouldn't be on the goddamn road. And I, to a little degree, I want to I wanna reach out to those people who I disagree with and say, I understand what you're saying. You're a better driver in the rain, but accidents happen. I tell my kids that all the time. They're always going to play in the creek. There are snapping turtles in the creek. I don't want them to grow up in fear of never doing things. However, there's a point in your life where you have to, you know, give up a little bit of that security to live, or you're just surviving. You guys want to see what's in the box? It's exciting. It's not the, the exciting video that will have something to do with what's inside this box. But hopefully it'll be exciting nonetheless. All right, here we go. Shh, it's okay now. It's okay. Just, shh, just take it. It's all right. I know it hurts me just as much as it hurts you. I should have another package coming in the mail today. It did not arrive after I got back from the store. I went to Walmart, and Walmart had no power in their coolers overnight. There was a huge accident over there because of the rain, and they lost everything in their coolers. So I, I was going to get, um, I know it's disgusting, but hot dogs for the kids. They were at least, you know, Nathan's beef skinless, if that means anything. But all the lights and all the coolers were out. I was like, shit, I got to get cream. The only ones that had stuff in it were the milk and cream section, but I was too nervous because they even said that those were down too. They were just trying to keep them up, but they, you know, they did get hot. So I'm not going to buy hot cream. You want some hot cream? This knife is a good knife, man. I got to tell you, it's it's not, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't defend myself with it in a one-on-one -on -one situation, but all things considered, it's fucking sharp. It wouldn't stay sharp, you know, if it hit a skull or something. Lord Jesus Christ, what do we have in here? Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm glad they packaged them this way, because there was certainly a fear that the Oreo offering would not make it here in time. Or not in time, but uh, in time for it to not melt completely inside of the box. It's been very fucking hot and humid here. So uh, these are not for sale, totally for sharing, bringing all life forms together, the Oreo offering. So what Oreo wants you to do, if you happen to be one of the 3,000 people who got one, they want you to take it out to the night sky. They want you to place an Oreo in the center of the, of the Oreo offering and offer them up to our... Um, you know, celestial brothers and sisters out there in the universe. I think I think it's kind of a neat uh, campaign. When I first heard about it, I was like, wow, that's fucking crazy. That's really weird. But the more and more I thought about it, it's kind of like accepting of everyone. We don't know if our alien brothers and sisters are going to come down here and eat us or stick things in our butts, or if they just want to be friends and they just want to share their knowledge with us and hopefully share our knowledge with them. 
So, you know, we're taking a risk here. I'm just saying, if you're giving up an Oreo offering, understand there is always a chance an alien will show up at your doorstep and thank you or murder you. I, I don't know which way it'll go because I don't know aliens yet. Uh, but I suppose it's only a matter of time. Let's talk about aliens for just a quick moment before I let you go. It's going to be a quick one this morning. I had no intentions of sitting down here. The other package I have coming today is my second DNA test for uh, Ancestry.com. The first one they were not able to get a sample off of or a good sample off of, so they're going to have me do it again. Um, I thought I did it to a T, but I want to go ahead and thank um, Jason Joseph, I believe his name is. He's a subscriber, and uh, he's watching out for me with these DNA tests. He's done all of them, I think. Don't quote me on that. But he gave me some suggestions on what I should do, and I really appreciate that. So thank you very much, Jason. Thank you so much to everybody. I haven't thanked everybody in so long. And I want to go down the list in my head, and if I forget you, I'm sorry. Rick, you've been a savior this last year, helping me to create new things for the channel and move in directions I never thought it would go. So I really appreciate it. Bob, ever since day one, ever since I met you, you've always been a friend and always been looking out for me. And you don't know how much that means to me. Or maybe you do. Jess and Herbie, um, what more can I say about you guys? You guys are, are amazing. Um, through thick and thin, you've always been there for me uh, when a lot of people weren't there for me. So I appreciate that more than probably now you guys know. Uh, who else? Brad. Brad Rigo's always there for me whenever I have a question. He doesn't always have an answer, but he's always there for me. Uh, he's a grand old friend. And of course, everyone, Jen Melanson. Jen has, uh, Jen sent us stuff at Christmas that was awesome. And she's always watching the channel and making suggestions um, or ideas. Um, and her daughter has a channel. And if I can remember it, I'll link it down below. And if I don't, then somebody call me out on it because I really would like to share it. Frank Lewis. Frank Lewis has also been there to tear my ass out. <laughs> Um, whenever it needed to be torn out. Uh, and he's the one that sent the Apollo sauce, uh, which I don't know if I should thank him for or throttle him for, but I appreciate it. And it's awesome. He does that. Jay and uh, Desi, you guys sent the um, the gummy. Without the gummy, where, where would we be? I mean, we would not have a three-part episode about eating a, the world's hottest gummy bear. I appreciate it. And that pepper jelly, Jay, fucking amazing. Keep it up, brother. Uh, Paul, Paul, Artie. My two other art friends, uh, one of them, uh, Artie, did a um, coloring book this year, which we did a, a video on. Without that coloring book, that video wouldn't exist. Uh, Paul, his calendar, amazing artist. If you haven't seen any, actually, I can probably link, I'll link a bunch of channels down here if I can find them. Frank and uh, I don't know whoever else has got a channel. I know Paul's got a channel out there. So, um, and like I said, I, I, my mind is slipping in my old age. So if I haven't thanked you here, then understand that. And if I've forgotten anybody here, I sincerely apologize. I'm getting older and my mind is slowly slipping. So thank you guys for always supporting the channel in any way that you do. You know what, Nabisco? I had no intentions of opening these anyway. But there's no goddamn lift flap on this thing. What do you think our alien brethren are going to think of us if they don't have lift flaps on their Oreo cookies? We're doomed. You have just doomed us, Oreo, to a fate. Well, maybe worse than that. I don't know. They may not be too upset by it. Well, anywho, thank you guys for stopping by and checking these out. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I am loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know. It'll let you know. It'll let you know. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the podcast. Podcast. Take care, and boy, howdy. <laughs>